what is going on guys i know it's been forever since i've done an actual video we got yeti here we got daddy dio over here and um, we're not riding yet but what we're gonna do today is finally repack these yoshimira mufflers of course both of them i've had the repack kit for a while the bike has like 106 hours on it maybe 90 ish with the, the yoshi system uh way overdue for the repack kit i know a lot of people don't even repack their mufflers i've had friends tell me but um we do so uh we did the white bros one on the kawasaki back in the day four times we did it a handful of times so the yoshimir one will be a little bit different because it's riveted it's not just a hex keys or allen heads whatever so uh, we're gonna pull those out, drill them out, and then uh, that's why Daddy Dio's here, just to help me out with that, repack it, rivet them back up, and uh, be good to go when we get back on the bike in about a month or so. So let's go get it. that cans off so these are the rivets that we were talking about gonna have to drill those out and the repack kit also comes with some fresh stickers so that'll be nice you know these just get torn up over time but cans look really good get uh, get a look inside of them now So a big reason I wanted Daddy Dio here with me on this, one, he's good at this stuff, you know, factory mechanic and all. I've honestly never worked with uh, rivets before. I actually bought this Harbor Freight hand riveter because I've never even done them. So uh, Dad was showing me how you punch out the middles. You know, we have our punches and then drill them out and then punch them out again to make sure that the rivet's all the way out. And it's all in the instructions from Yoshimura, but uh, always nice to actually see it in action. So we've got this one all out. So now I'm going to start uh, working this out and see if we can get the end cap to slide off nicely. Oh yeah, that's a good way. Smells good. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it smells good. So we got the back ends of the rivets here. Just gonna try and pull this out. Of course we have the core in here too, but I just wanna pull out some of this. I actually feel like this has held up really well. Yeah, that actually like, has. Looking at how... You know, like the White Brothers one, it would be throwing this uh, packing actually out as I was riding so you can see it's not even burned all the way through but uh, it's just a precaution and since uh, I'm down for a little bit longer just uh, something to do and plus get those fresh stickers on it so I'm actually pretty impressed with that but uh, go ahead and clear out that packing and uh, get started on the new packing this one came out in two nice big chunks but you see there and then looking down in here you have the core if I can get some light on that maybe and then of course the packing just goes around the side so the exhaust goes straight through there, packing packed around the edges, but yeah, pretty cool. Always uh, nice to be doing something like this and learning how to do it since uh, I've never done them on the Yoshimuras before, so learning something new. Time to start actually putting the packing into the can here. Should be interesting. Yeah. 
All right, we got all that fresh packing in there. Uh, they said to use the whole roll, which it's like vacuum sealed here. When you open it up, there's a lot more of it. <laughs> but uh, we were able to get a whole roll stuffed in there. So uh, lucky us though, with the 2017 Honda CRF 450, we get to do this all over again. So now we're gonna put on the end cap, <laughs> one more uh, to go. <laughs> whole nother can. So we'll get that one stuffed and then we have rivets and the bands. So we'll go ahead and get those on, but um, off camera we're gonna, the oh yeah, and the stickers of course. But uh, actually let's go ahead and finish up this one then we'll do that one off camera. But uh, yeah, it's going along well. So we're putting the rivets across the bands. We put in all the rivets without actually popping them, but just to make sure all the holes line up. So lining those up and then we'll use the tool, pop them on in and uh, first of two bands on each can. So first of four total. You can see is it kind of getting okay gotta push it down and give it another squeeze okay let me pull it off okay so it's see so see the nail is moving but the rivet really isn't okay. i don't want to mash it down completely until we're ready to uh just two squeezes you know, on this one also yeah And, you, and of course you want to push the tool against the muffler. Yeah, make sure it stays tight as it's drawing through. I think maybe I'll just leave it like this. I think this is like a sick Brian Deegan metal militia look. That's pretty dope. <laughs> All right, so that's one done. We'll get the stickers on it afterwards, but uh, yeah, like I said earlier, I know that's kind of silly, but my first time ever using a rivet, riveter, rivet. Pop rivet gun. Pop rivet gun. Um, and some of you might be like, Dio, you're 31, you've never used one before. Yep, I don't know what to tell you, but I haven't, and now I have, so <laughs> that's pretty cool, learning experience. But uh, we'll go ahead and do the other one off camera, and then catch up with you guys in a little bit. We got to do it. We don't have the mufflers on yet. We're just going to give it a quick start just to see how it sounds. It's probably going to be very, very loud. So let's check it out. Make sure we clean off if there's any fingerprints left on there before we start it with the mufflers actually on this time. But those look so good with the fresh decals. Um, my dad and I were talking about the repack actually went way smoother than we thought. Um, one of the, some of the rivets kind of fought us, just the design of them, but uh, obviously we got it to work. So yeah, things went really well on it, but clean these up. We're gonna throw on the, uh, the side plates, the number plates, and start it up so you guys can hear it. I'm sure it really won't sound much different than when I started it first thing today, since the packing wasn't totally blown out, but yeah, really happy with it.
definitely does it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed checking out another video. Uh, just as an update, January 17th, which is in seven days, will be six months since my ACL injury. It seems longer because I haven't rode since June 6th. Whoops. So I'm <laughs> just my RC stuff falling. Um, so I've been off the bike longer than those six months, but I, I won't be riding right at six months um, in January, hopefully February or at the latest March, I'll be back on the bike. But stay tuned, of course, to all my socials, DO on Instagram, return of DO on uh, TikTok. Update you guys there, but appreciate y'all. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it and I uh, can't wait to get back out on Yeti. Everything is awesome on it. Of course, the engine was done right before I hurt my knee or during when I hurt my knee. Muffler's repacked and uh, she's ready to eat. So uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take it easy. If it's easy, take it twice. Talk to you later.